It's Ash from Super Videos back with another video for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a few very interesting scenes, some interesting details that were shown in the trailer for the finale, Season 1, Episode 6, which is called The Last Time. Now, I originally missed these when I did my trailer breakdown, but when I went back and rewatched the trailer and paused a few times, and also when I watched some other content creators and saw what they noticed that I didn't. A lot of these different things kind of came together and connected, which was super interesting. Some of this even connects to things that we saw in the title credits for the series. So a lot of that is definitely super intriguing. It has to do with Rick and Michonne finding some sort of chlorine gas cylinder or bomb at the Cascades base and possibly using that against the CRM. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. So it all starts with this shot of Rick and Michonne that was in the trailer. Now pay attention where they are. It seems like they're in a huge tent-like space. And obviously we see this type of tent-like space in the trailer. We see two of these and these are in the middle of where the summit is taking place at the Cascades base. So this is Rick and Michonne in one of these two locations. That by itself might not reveal too much. It's cool that they're there but it doesn't tell us anything. But pay attention to what's behind them. We clearly see what appears to be some cylinders, some green, some blue. Of course, we did see these types of cylinders in World Beyond. It actually contained chlorine gas. CRM were planning to use against Portland. In fact, this exact type of cylinder is showcased in the title cards for the series. We see that right here. So that's definitely super, super interesting. So it appears that in wherever area they're at, they do come across these cylinders, which has chlorine gas bombs, which the CRM are probably going to use against their enemies, possibly Portland and other communities. Now, what is interesting is the fact that it's even there. Like, why would they bring that to the Cascades knowing that there's a summit going on? Why would CRM willingly bring that in? Wouldn't they want to keep that away from where all of their elites are? You know what I mean? So that's a little weird. And it got me thinking, what if the CRM, particularly Beale, is planning something substantial to kill all of the internal people at the CRM that might cause problems? Think about it. They could have this massive explosion, this massive chlorine gas attack at the Cascades base to kill off the people that are within the CRM, the elites, the decision makers, but those that might not see eye to eye with Beale. That might be what they're doing. And of course, once it happens, Beale could easily blame the enemy and say that the enemy had something to do with this. But then as a result of him getting rid of his competition, he has even more power now because there are no decision makers to second guess his opinions and his decisions. Now that is definitely something that you can take with a grain of salt because we're just speculating here, but some of it seems to kind of connect. Now of course, Rick and Michonne coming across these bombs could essentially use it against Beale himself. So they could have that be used against the CRM elites that Beale might like, those that might be in Beale's camp, maybe even use it against Beale himself. Obviously, that's a little more wild of a theory. It's still in the same ballpark. Now, this also could connect to this shot where we see CRM doctors putting masks on a patient, a patient that could possibly have been affected by chlorine gas. This was, of course, also in the title cards. So it's not something we've seen yet, but it could be something we see. And of course, if what I said earlier is true, then this could be one of those CRM decision makers or maybe even Major General Beale himself who has been affected by the chlorine gas bomb that has been used against them. Rick and Michonne 
definitely had something to do with what went down to lead to them being in the hospital here. But I am definitely interested to know your thoughts and opinions about this theory. Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.